What was the first set of questions? What do we need to do? I think we got the, um, I'm, I've got to put in the coffees and I think that the Google Chrome was the answer to that. Yes. So the next is how, once I, once I get the drinks on that menu, how will I swap, how will it autoplay from the Pruatos to the, um, the, the coffees? Okay, perfect. So let me log in here. Okay, so I'll just open up, you know, an example. So let's say here's our menu. And then to duplicate the menu, right, you hit, you put your mouse over it. There's the three little dot icon, click that, and then hit duplicate. So you'd have, mm -hmm. so, you, so that's how you do that, okay? And then once, let's just rename it really quick here. So let's hit edit. Um, we'll just put menu two. There we go. And so now you said you wanted to change like the headers and the text and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's say this one juice, I'm going to double click on the header and you can just type in, you know, whatever you want for the, that's it. On the right mm -hmm. would be the properties so you can change it. So if you wanted to make it bigger, smaller, whatever, but to change mm -hmm. the text, let's say any one of these zones, just simply double click on one of the zones and type away. It's that okay. simple. Price thing, same thing. Double click the price. If you want to change it to, let's say, for example, a $4.99, there you go. $6.99. Very simple. Um, this little image here or video, if you want to move that around or anything like that, just click and drag it. Um, if you don't want it, delete it. And then if you want to add something, just click and drag. So here I'm going to put a slideshow dragged it down on this corner and on the right of the properties. So if I click the little camera icon, you can upload your files from your computer. So if it's like a PNG, JPEG, whatever you have, you just upload it. I'll, so I'll just check these off Hit insert. There you go. Then I can change it. So if I wanted to play for five seconds each, I'm just typing in on the side here. That's it. Okay, I see on the right-hand side of there where you're typing that. Yeah. So did that answer the question on how to, like, change the text and stuff like that? Yeah, that answers that question. And then scheduling um, it, right? Putting them to rotate through? Right, so that the Frulatos menu that's already up, mm -hmm. like, because I'll have another screen, mm -hmm. how will I run that screen, schedule it to run, Yep. So you want menu A to play for 10 seconds and then switch to menu B for 10 seconds or vice versa, right? That type of control. Sure. Yep. So sure. let's save this. I have it titled as menu two. I'm going to hit save. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so once you have your menus put together, the next step is putting together the playlist. And that's going to be where you schedule it, you know, set when you want and how long you want each thing to play. So I'm going to hit main, a playlist. I'm going to hit new playlist. I'm going to name this, let's just say TV one. And then on the left here, these are where all of the templates are. So like the ones that you have made, they'll, they'll be all here. So we've got here, let's say that's the first one. And then you've got the second one menu two with the other options. And what you can do is on the lower left it says, 30 seconds. That means that would show that menu would show for 30 seconds and then switch to the next one. So you can control the frequency, you know, when it switches by clicking the 30 and let's say you want it on there for 10 seconds. So type 10, check, same thing with the second one, 10, mm -hmm. check. There you go. So it would play for 10 seconds, go to the next one and they would just keep on switching. There's also the ability to pre-schedule stuff. So maybe you have, uh, for let's say your grand opening or every Friday happy hour, whatever, you want to pre-schedule. So let's say the third one, you want to pre-schedule. So if you put your mouse over it, there's the little calendar. And then what you can do is you can set recurring. So maybe you have your special or your promo that you want to play every day at 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock, 9 to 10. Or 
every Friday at nine to 10 or every, every Thursday and Tuesday. So whatever you want, you can schedule it. The second option is expiration. So maybe for like your grand opening or for a special event or whatever, it's a one day thing. So you check off set expire and 31st, 31st. So you just want that to play from nine o'clock to, uh, you know, 12 o'clock on the 31st. So you have full control over the, the sequence, how long it plays, the duration, everything. And then you'd simply hit OK. And so you've got it scheduled. Is that what you were looking for? No, yep, that's exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. Thank you. And you're going to send me this link just for a Yeah, I'll minute. send you this, this, uh, this little overview so you have it. Um, the last thing, too, that I'll show you really quick. So we hit create. Yeah, there, there it is. It says TV1. So that's what we just made, right? And so now mm -hmm. you want to get that menu to the screen. So I'm going to right. hit screens. And what you'll do is you'll hit new screen. You're going to name it whatever you want to name it. So let's just say TV one menu. Then on the left is the playlist. You add it and then you hit create. That's it. On the little box. Add and create. Yep. That's it. On the box that you have the little media player that's connected to the TV, right? Through the HDMI. You'll open the Novison app that's on the media player. You'll log into your account. And there'll be a little search bar with the magnifying glass. You just hit the magnifying glass and it will give you a list of all of these screens. You'll select TV one and then the button let's go. And that's basically connecting the hardware to the cloud. So every minute that little hardware box that media player is going to check for new updates. If there's a new one, it will download them right to the screen. It's that simple. Um, okay. The only other thing cool. is, if let's say for example two weeks from now you make a change so let's say you need to change a price or an item okay you log back in you find your template so you'd go to your template you'd make your change you'd hit save the minute you make that change it would automatically uh go to the playlist that you have assigned to the screen so you won't have to do anything else moving forward as long as i open it up in the template yep the template so like right. menu two hit edit Maybe you change it, uh, the price, you know, you, you're going to, you're going to put the 599, then you hit save. It will automatically update on the screen within one minute. You'll see it on the screen. So it's pretty simple. That is pretty neat. All right. It, anything else? I'm so glad that you walked me through that with visual. Oh yeah. No, it's, uh, <laughs> it helps, you know? So then, um, yeah. It helps. And I'll send you a link to this as well, you know, so then you can, if you need to view it again or what have you, you know, feel free. Uh, and then, you know, just give us a call or email if, if you get stuck. So. Okay. Thanks, Chad. Let me You're, get busy. You're welcome. So much. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.